Hey, this is David Kerner from David K Reptiles. Somebody asked for a setup video for the Savannah Monitor Cage, so I thought I'd get that done. No, it's been a while since I made a video. Got some other cool stuff to show y'all. So, actually, my other Savannah Monitor, it wasn't working out too well with him. He bit me. I probably could have tamed him, but I went to the show in the Repticon in Jacksonville and met Bruce, and he's just super cool. And I brought him home, and he's dog tamed. A good boy, eh, Bruce? Huh? Yeah? And he's just, I don't even know, he's like a dog. Like, he did have glass on the cage, but it's gone because it, it, it was about the length of the cage, and I had to pull it out this way, and it reached to, like, my door. And I was walking by with the lights off. The lights were off, and I hit my knee on the big piece of glass, and I broke it, so there's not even glass on here anymore. But he hasn't even been in his cage use. By my under my dresser and I just pulled him out and he walks straight to his cage and hangs out in here. I don't even have to put him in here or anything. He just chills in here, walks around every once in a while. He hasn't eaten for me yet. I got a pork chop in here because the guy was feeding him meat before. I'm trying to switch him over to something that might be better for him, but you know. Uh, well, this is his cage. I would have substrate in here, but the cage that I got built. I didn't really give him a lot of specifications, so he built it with his uh, opening on the side, which is alright, because he's more like a pet instead of like a cage animal, so he'll be alright. Uh, but I got the big rock right here, which is plenty good for him. He usually hangs up on there, perched on there. I got a log over here, water bowl, plate for food. I got this over here, kind of helps. Uh, Retain the moisture. This is coconut fiber eco earth that came in a brick. You just break it down and uh, put water in it and expand. And that's just to help keep the humidity in here because they need a pretty high humidity. I got the heat lamp right here. It goes in from the top. Drill the hole. Uh, it's got ventilation back there for them because there was going to be a, a door, but it gets around. I don't know, I had another light on here and it went out this morning and I didn't have time to wait so I just put in the 100 watt bulb I think it is and that one right there is 150 and I just, I'm probably going to switch them back but it gets around 120 on the rock and around 100 degrees to about 90 over here usually and then up here, I've been trying to breed mealworms just keeping the beetles because they sometimes get out of the the bowls uh, let's see, I haven't checked it today. Uh, don't see any babies. But those are little darkling beetles that the mealworms turn into after they go through the pupae stage and then they turn into those. But no luck with that. It's actually harder than it seems to breed mealworms you wouldn't think it would be. And I haven't showed you guys these yet. I should have made a video whenever they were first laid, but I got two eggs in the incubator. Leopard gecko eggs. Uh, they were laid by Amber, my hypotangerine. Almost a super hypo. I don't know. I think those spots, those two spots on her back might fade out. This is the one with the smiley face on her head. And she laid a dud egg a while back. I don't know. It could have been fertile, but she laid it like a month late. So I doubt it would have made it anyways, but she laid it out of her lay box and it was dried up by the time I caught it and yeah that's the setup and the eggs and what's been going on with my reptiles and stuff still got all my other ones Elvis over there ball pythons up there most of my babies in the racks down there and the cripple leopard gecko that I saved and Casper in there and Oscar over here made him a little pen, or my mom did, because she didn't want him crapping on the floor anymore. So he don't like it too much, but he's getting used to it. All right, Oscar. He's still pissed off at me for putting him in a pen. He used to roam free and just crap everywhere. All right, well that's it. Till next time.